Keep texting and phoning. You might just get her, and if you do, then let me know straight I'm away. I'm making her so much grief about this. It must be about 40. This is not a joke. If she phones you or gets in touch, you let us know right away. Got it? All right, Tom, we will. Look, I mean it, Chloe. Is Janice all right? I'm sure she'll be fine. Just keep texting her. Go on. What is it? Wait until Maxine and that find out I'm going out for teacher. Who said anything about us going out? What's that? Oh, I can't go out with you, Janice. Married. Yeah, but you said she was getting a divorce. Didn't ya? Yeah, I did, but <sighs> these things take time. Well, you are going to tell her, aren't ya? Aren't ya? How did he manage to get away with it with all the checks they do? I don't know. It seems quite easy to hide a real identity these days. Don't you compare me to this guy? No. Lies, deceit, blackmail. Is there a difference? Look, I'll handle the governors. You'll have to tell Mrs. Bryant what's happened. Maxine and Chloe don't know anything. OK, can you two stay and help Eddie out when the police come? I thought we were going to be a proper couple. We were a proper couple. We had a great time. No harm done. Hey, look, you got what you wanted. On into the car and pick up your school clothes. There won't be a tick. She's run off with Mr. Bingham. What? Didn't surprise me. Oh, not Janice. God, no. Bingham. Looks a type. Type for what? Well, you know, types take advantage. Play the torture poet act. Works every time. Ah. Uh, oh, I've got to check my email. It's Janice. Janice, where are you? Maxie? He's taken all my clothes. She's crying. Janice, what are you on about? Mr. Bingham, he's took all my clothes. I've got nothing to wear. Don't tell me, Mum. Don't tell anybody. Janice, the police are looking for you and everything. Hey? Why? I don't know, but Steph's asked us loads. Ask her where she is again. Where are you? Stay there. Steph, she's in Manchester. Look, Eddie and I'll stay here. You go find Janice. I'm going to give her a call. Tell her it doesn't matter what happened or what she's done. The thing she'll be most scared of is what we think about her. We'll follow you in my car, mate. I think she'll be OK. I can't help feeling I've let her down. Hey, you had all this planned, like you said. You've nothing to feel guilty about. I know, but all that crap I was spouting about relationships. Yeah, and all that crap I was spouting about what a great teacher he was. Loved. 
Yeah, well, lots of blokes say that, Janice, when they want something. You've got nothing to be ashamed about. You trusted him and he tricked you. Does everyone know? At school? No, of course they don't. Max and Matt are going to crucify me. I'm not going back. They're just worried about you the same as we are. Mean it, miss, I'm not going back. I only went with him because I'm sick of him calling me a virgin. Right. I'm so flaming stupid. Hey, don't let anyone say that you're stupid. You're lovely, Janice. Don't change for anyone. I'm gonna stick to lads my own age, miss. <laughs> <laughs>